Today we're going to show you how to use an Arduino to drive an 800 by 480 5 inch TFT display with capacitive touch. So I'll give you a quick tour of the setup here. This redboard is a Arduino clone. It's a Seedwino from Seed Studio, which is pretty much exactly like an Arduino Uno, except that it runs at 3.3 volts natively, which is nice for our application. Uh, there's a micro SD card, just used to store some images. And this is the Crystal Font CFA10098 adapter board, and it simply goes from the 10th inch center uh, connection pins to this 30 pin 0 0.5 millimeter flat flex cable. And this is our 5 inch sunlight readable capacitive touch 800 by 480 TFT. It's pretty fun and it's got uh, up to five touches. No way I can get five fingers on there at once. But and um, The cool thing about this is this little Arduino, which has very little power, is able to scroll the background. You can see the clouds are moving slowly. It can move multiple worlds around and it can also rotate the logo in there. So how is all that done? So let's take a look at the back of this display. The incoming signals and power are on this single 30 pin 0 0.5 millimeter pitch flat flex cable. It goes into a ZIF connector which is very low profile. The display features six threaded mounting posts that allow you to securely anchor it in your design. Um, there's a high efficiency backlight switcher that switches the 3.3 uh, to 5 volts incoming backlight supply up to the, I think it's like 19 volts that the backlight needs. There's a supervisor controller over here and then there's also the big boss of the board which is the FTDI FT813 graphics accelerator chip. In a normal application, you would put the mating connector to this 30-pin FFC on your circuit board, and that would be the only connection. For prototyping, we have the CFA10098 adapter board. This adapter board has 10th inch center pins that are easy to hook up for prototyping. There's also a second row of pins that you could use for like a, hooking your oscilloscope up to. And these signals come over to the 0.5 millimeter pitch 30 conductor flat flexible cable. This board also has an audio amplifier on it and a connection for a speaker in case you want to use the FTDI EVES audio PWM output. Another great feature of this display is that it has a very bright backlight which makes it usable outside. This shot is in full sunlight and the display is still very readable. Comparing the Crystal Font Sunlight Readable LCD with a Pixel phone on full brightness and they are about comparable. 